<laughs> Here in Whistler, BC. Finally have a little bit of vacation time. Of course, as my vacation arrives, so too does the rain. Raining pretty hard yesterday. Today it's not bad, it's kinda on and off. Right now it's off, hopefully it stays that way. Trails are dry, so a little bit of moisture is never a bad thing. Now unfortunately something not so great happened last weekend. Somebody stole my bike rack. Locked to the hitch of my car. Car was in the quote unquote secured underground parking. Somebody broke in and stole it. Sort of lose faith in humanity when things like that happen. A little bit of good news though. A company called Rack Attack came to the rescue, offered to help me get a rack before I was heading up here to Whistler. I was after a hitch rack, so the guys at the Vancouver Rack Attack location stayed late, helped me get that installed before I came up here. So a huge shout out to them. If you're ever in the market for a rack, be sure to check them out. Visit their website, rackattack.com or head in store. Now I gotta stop talking, cause it's getting steep. Let's see at the trailhead. Made it up to the top of Upper Howler. Basically poured rain the entire time I was climbing. Now it is, time being, not raining, so fingers crossed it'll stay that way. I don't really know what Whistler terrain is like in the wet. My vague recollection is that the roots get very slippery. Sharp rocks up here. Hang on. No, shock is open. Continue on. <laughs> Fun trail so far. Always happy to see a little <laughs> bunny hop on the trail. Forget how to ride in the wet. bone dry for months. Of course, now that I'm on vacation, it rains. But the trails need it.
sharp, sharp rocks. What a sweet line. <laughs> Kudos to the builder or builders for that one. Oh, still going. There you have it, Howler. Pretty fun trail, if I do say so myself. All right, thanks for watching. Shout out once again to Rack Attack. Got a link to their website down in the description. Make sure you check it out, show them some love. In the meantime, we'll see you guys next week.